Hey guys, it's Xnero with another Devil's One Streak video. Um, this time it's nothing in particular, I'm just going for a high score. The one I currently have puts me, I think, at rank um, below rank 1000, and the goal is to be above 1000 because I'm. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm a kind of a whale, and I am a very uh, prideful whale, so I want yes. to have nice Let's things go. and um, brag. So <laughs> that's what this is. Um, yeah, um, I think Orders, anything below yes. 738, I decline, and so it takes a while. Okay. And that's why I have the, the counter on the side because I thought it'd be interesting to keep track of how, like what kind of distributions I got for my scores, um, how many crests I used, and stuff like okay. that. So. Um, I haven't cut those parts out of the video, so there will be. There's a long stretch of. Um, there's a pretty, like, kind of a dry spell where I don't get anything I want for quite a while, which is why this video is a little bit longer because I didn't take every battle I got. I skipped a lot of battles, so that added time. Um, yeah, some of this gameplay is like kind of not like the most mind blowing gameplay because a lot of it's. Like, I face very similar units throughout the teams. Um, <laughs> that, that wasn't very fair. Well, I face similar units in various team compositions I face. That was also redundant, so I'm just, I don't even know what I'm saying today. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, eh, 732, and then next we get 736. Um, you get the idea. So I have a lot of time to fill. One thing I'd like to mention is that maybe you've noticed that sound quality is a little different. Hopefully you have noticed. I think I sound a little bit further away in some ways, but I also there isn't the same kind of background noise. And right now my computer is massively overheating, but you shouldn't be able to hear it on the recording because I've got a new mic. And or I like I've got a mic for the first time. Before I was just using the um, like the microphone on my headset, and this is like a mic, and I feel very cool and uh, professional, and I'm really excited. Um, this I got this mic thanks to the wonderful support of my really amazing Patreons, like huge shout out to of them course. for yes. supporting me and um, Understood. Yes. Like, okay. All right. enabling me to do this, uh, like it's just really, really awesome. Um, this match was really interesting because the trenches yes. may were, they didn't like, the trench that Cordelia is on right now okay. is kind of a silly trench because Good. there's a tree right in front of it. So like they weren't going to be able to pass there anyway, so I'm not entirely sure what's up with that trench, but um, it kind of was nice because like I felt protected. But because the tree was there, she wasn't really going to reach me anyways. But um, anyways, I thought that was it was cool to see these new designs. Um, and this one is all right. Um, Again, that trench right behind the forest tile seems a little silly, but aside from that, it looks like a perfectly reasonable map. Um, nothing like mind blowing and creative. Oh, I think this next turn is where I, it, the safety is nice because obviously, like normally, she Lynn would be able to hit Fjorm, but I don't have to move Fjorm because of the trenches. Um, yes. We're kind of backtracking a little. Um, I just wanted, again, to thank okay. my Patreons for supporting me, or my patrons on Patreon for supporting me because it's it's just really awesome that that people will do that and um, like not like that, not only that people subscribe to me and watch my videos consistently and interact with me a lot on the Discord and plays with me on the Discord and play you know spades with me on the Discord, but that they also like can monetarily support me. Um, and getting things that maybe I wouldn't normally get because you know, this is a hobby and I've already in some ways spent a lot of money on this hobby for uh, like for video editing software and things like that. Um, so just thanks so much to them, like they're all awesome. And consider supporting me as well if you can, if you're able, and if you want to, obviously. So just gonna plug myself there a little bit. I don't I try not to plug myself that much, so Every now and then I think it's okay. Um, and especially because like they helped me just for me and like that lets this mic happening, like I just figured I'd mention it. Talk about it quite a lot because <laughs> this video is like this video is very long and it's not like a video that talks a lot about like the actual gameplay going on, but 
Like, the most interesting part of this video, I personally think, is the scores received, because just like watching them tally up the distribution I get, I think is really interesting. But, um... Yes? Yeah. Um, I also didn't want to reposition Lucina there, because she's got, um, Bold Fighter Ignis, and, um... I was not... Or, I sorry, Bold Fighter, uh... Yes. Ether, and so I didn't really want to put units in range, because, like, I just, like, I've had, like, bad okay. experiences with Bold Fighter. So that's what that okay. is. I'm kind of doing it in this really weird roundabout way. Um, Let's go. Or I'm just being so scared. Understood. And that's why, because too many times has Bolt Fighter just been a pain in the butt. Okay. Um, All so. right. Another one, another team bites the dust, and we move back on to seeing if we can get 738 or 740. Um, I'll also take this moment to mention that. I admit that it might, some of like the actual tallying might not have been perfect. I think I did a good job, but I don't know if it's perfect. I'm fairly sure it, it, I, I did it properly, but you never know. And I, I just want to put that disclaimer out there that there might be mistakes. Like if you, if you notice one, let me know like a point that I didn't, a, a score that I didn't count up or something like that. But I was looking and I'm pretty sure that Yes. The total number of scores received made sense with the total number of press used, so I think that seems like a pretty foolproof check, but who knows, who knows. Um, and this team is really interesting because I don't see very many mages. I mean, I see when, like, I see some of the armor mages, but I don't see like infantry mages, so seeing Garja was super cool. Um, also seeing a bunch of these Camillas is fun. I love the idea of guards. Um, yeah. But I also, this map was like not enjoyable to face this team on because like mages are, like particularly on this map, I totally forgot about Guidance. I, I as I put my Camilla there, I was like, oh my god, she has Guidance. And then I clicked and realized, yep. And then, and then, and then Tharja flew across the map and I was like, mistakes are made. But my Camilla is such a beast and um, she's amazing. And then so here I'm trying to figure out like what the best arrangement is to kill both Camilla and Tharja so that whatever unit is left doesn't get destroyed by Fjorm. And I didn't really want to leave Camilla there yes. because, you know, it might have been okay, but I'm paranoid oh, and I, I mean, I could have rallied her. All right. And she would have had, um, you know, maybe plus three defense from the rally yes. speed and defense. But I just wanted to be safe and Fjorm they have, like, Fjorm won't get doubled because they're both the same unit, and mine has critical foes, so it's, like, you know, Orders, please. generally a good thing. So, that's yes, what that was. <laughs> and, um, then I think Cordelia finishes off yes. Tharja, um, who is very slow. There are a couple times I, I see Winter Tharja, she's got, like, 41 and 43 defense and res respectively and it's like how do you even approach this like I feel like sometimes I should put heavy spear on my Cordelia because it's like it's such a problem um so I think this might be one of the longer stretches where I don't get anything so I get to just fill this time with my lovely voice and I didn't really prepare anything to say here which was maybe a bad idea but, yeah, <laughs> um, I'm, for those of you that don't, don't know, I'm like in college training to be a teacher and I'm working with a class right now and we've been talking about the importance of being able to like kind of talk and speak articulately and here I am kind of floundering so those students would be um, quite amused to know that sometimes I don't take my own advice. But I think I'm doing okay. Um, they're middle school, so I'm definitely doing better than they are, at least. Um, so, yeah. Definitely get a lot of 130s and 132s. So the people who don't know, I guess I could talk a little bit about arena scoring. I was going to make a full-length video about it, but it kind of just get, got scrapped at one point. But um, the reason why there's variance here is that there is just like, there's basically like a 14-point modifier of like, that's like RNG that goes, like, you can get any number between, no, like, like in a, within a range, like, so you have, your team has, like, an actual score, and then you ultimately get, like, within, like, plus or minus seven of those. 
of, of, a, of like the true like scoring. So like they score you based on um, how many stars you have. So it's the number of stars squared. So five, for a five star, you get 25 points and for a four star, you get 16. The number of merges, um, you get two times the number of merges for points. Um, you get 100 points for a level 40 unit, which is like all you need to know because basically everyone's, no one's running like level 39 units. Um, so here we are, get a battle. Um, this map also is kind of interesting. I I don't see very many cavalry units, so it's kind of hard to judge whether these trenches are making a difference, but I imagine they are. I also like these maps that have the offset defense tiles. A couple maps we have have it so that they're adjacent, and I think that's kind of defeats the purpose of the defense tiles because like if you're both getting the defense buff, then it's just yes. like kind of tedious. Um, yes. okay. And so here when they're offset, that's I, I like that. I like seeing that. Um, yeah. It's kind of an interesting map because it has so many entries. I think, just kind of looking at it, this actually might be an interesting map because obviously cavalry can go around the sides and just avoid the trenches in the middle. So that's pretty cool. Um, there are blocks there, so it will slow them down a little bit, but um, this seems like, all in all, a pretty good map. Um, I guess I like it more than the one with the lake in the center with the, the redundant trench and forest tile. Um, Okay, alright. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, back to scoring. So you get 100 points for a level 40 unit. Um, you get points based on their base stat totals, which is oh, which rounds down to the nearest uh, multiple of 5, said. always, like, always okay. rounds down. Yes. Um, you also get points. So the, like, the, the base SP costs, not the inherited skill SP costs, but the base SP costs of your skill. Um, yes. divided by 100, so, okay. like, this is why a lot of people run Aether and Gale Force because they're worth, they're, um, 500 SP, and whereas, like, any other comparable, like, Bonfire, Iceberg, so on and so forth, there's only 300, so that's, like, just two points that, um, you can get, and two points, like, in this context makes a lot of difference because in many of these categories, you'll notice you can't get more points, like, you the mergers, like you get 10 mergers, that's it. That's like, once you have 10 mergers, that's the end of that category. Once you're level 40, that's the end of that category. You only can get five stars. Um, BST is, you know, like it's kind of set. Whereas SP cost can be like, that's where there's room to grow in many ways. Um, so yeah, like Aether's worth more um, prefer preference weapons like Falcon um, are worth more, I think, but now that we have refined weapons, the refined weapons are worth, um, I think, 450, and so it now, in some contexts, is worth kind of downgrading because if you have something, for example, like um, like some of the passive skills have like co cost 240, and so if you have enough of those tens digits that stack up, you can like have enough to pop your 450 yes. SP weapon over that. Um, up to the 500 category, and since it rounds down, you don't necessarily miss out on points. And um, right. and so, for some units, like the refined yes. slaying, sorry, the refined weapon um, yes. right. effect is better. So, um, like, if you're running Roy and you have the Binding Blade, like it might be in your best interest to put something else on him, and a lot of people do. So. Um, other weapons also, like, um, I probably should have had other examples, but, like, Roy just comes to mind, because, um, like, shout out to Roll Pair, um, was streaming earlier today. That was exciting. Um, check him out. I guess I'll link him in the description. He's a very cool person. Um, of course. what other, yes. other units run preference? Understood. Or run refined weapons over there, uh, right. unique things. As you mm, say. I should... Okay. I don't know, like a lot of the mages, so Lind runs, um, Orders, please. Waterblade a lot, although Waterblade's not refinable, but like it's just because her, her, her aura is kind of crap, um, but, All right. anywho, okay. I'm sure there's other examples, yes. like just okay. try the description and, and show me, <laughs> I, I'm sure you guys can think of them, I can't think of them right now, but, Understood. um, yeah, this map was kind of scary. I kind of wonder if I had rallied her with Lucina if she would have double. I can't remember how much speed the era had. Um, and then this Zelgius is kind of scary. This is another example of the map where um, they have non-adjacent uh, fortress tiles. I like seeing forest fortress tiles, and also I want to see more 
trench cavalry tiles because um, some of the defensive horse units with horse with um, buffs on defensive tiles just are monsters. So here we are trying to get our last battle. Um, and that's the second and only, or the second and the last 728 score we get. But you can see how the distribution is like, we get 11 times we get 732. So it must be like 732 is like my, my true score or something like that. And then I'm getting lucky every now and then to be bumped up to 738 and 740. Um, you can see like if it were a graph, I kind of thought about making it a graph, but my, my editing skills are amazing. It definitely like, Okay. You know, right. it yes. looks like a standard deviation graph, although more extreme from the drop from five to like or the Orders, rise please. from five oh, to twelve and then down to twelve Let's again go. to five. Um, this is another map that is fine aside from the adjacent fortress tiles on the player side. But again, maybe it's not so bad since it is player side. Um, it's just annoying when it's um, not player side because um especially on this map they're so far when there's blocks in between you that yes. it's unlikely that you're gonna be fighting on those tiles because it's so far back it's so far into um okay. ally lines that it's all unlikely said. they're gonna get there so yes. that's the last map and i think lucina just kills sheena i think we double her maybe not okay she's a good i lied um he's going to now though and then i show you this, the rank that i get it's like 500 and something which i'm very pleased with and That'll be the video, so thanks so much for watching. Shout out to my Patreons for getting me this mic. Um, I think it sounds better. You guys can let me know how you think it sounds, but I'm not going to change it. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.